Hey, DML with you here. Uh, my apologies in advance for making this the second walk and talk during the day. I, I, I never uh, wish to uh, abuse your time or uh, the fact that you uh, help me out when I ask for help. Don't want to abuse that. So I am coming to you for a second time and uh, I apologize in advance. But uh, I had somebody reach out to me today after we went uh, with our walk and talk earlier this afternoon and suggested that I make a phone call to Budweiser and um, Amheuser-Busch. And I'm going to do that. Amheuser-Busch is a um, major, major sponsor of the NFL. And, um, you know, they're the king of beers. They're as American um, as any of us are supposed to be. And so I don't want to see uh, Amheuser-Busch uh, funding uh, basically what it is is, uh, is the disrespect to our flag so as many of you know I'm gonna let the numbers uh, climb up here a little bit before I call as many as you know uh, we started a bumper sticker campaign last night I just want to explain that real quick before I call the 800 number I'm gonna give you the 800 number because I'm gonna ask you right after I'm done calling that you call as well and it's a little windy here and I'm trying to prop up the phone so I could do two things without holding my own phone but um, I'm gonna ask you to call them right after I'm done and uh, kind of give them the same uh, message I am. They have an actual number set up for people to do this. So I'm gonna do that with you. Uh, but like I said, we started a bumper sticker campaign last night real quick. Uh, we started it last night at 10 o'clock and so far we have sold over 8,000 bumper stickers with just a couple of Facebook posts and uh, stuff like this. And uh, as I explained, they're only four bucks. We will be mailing them out starting next week. I've set up all different vendors. I have them coming in from all over the country. Uh, we're laying out our own money to do it. And all the net profits that we receive, we are putting it into advertisements for more bumper stickers and to basically tell people what it is that this stands for. I printed this out backwards so you see it, it says, I stand for my flag. This is what you get. It's a uh, three by nine or three by eight and a quarter. It's a bumper sticker. And uh, my hope is that we sell hundreds of thousands of these and that we'll be able to start doing advertisements on the NFL games and on radio stations throughout the country uh, expressing how important it is for people to stand for the national anthem and how it is that we're just not going to sit back and allow these athletes to uh, dictate a narrative which is very anti-America and as far as I'm concerned poisons our children and is going to set a precedent here in the country which I just do not want to see happen. Uh, once we have people kneeling for the flag and not caring about the national anthem whatsoever and just pretending as if it's just some random song or just some random few minutes of your life that you give, we are uh, completely lost as a country. And once you lose your voice as a country or as a person, it's almost near impossible to get it back. And um, Barack Hussein Obama, as far as I'm concerned, pushed us to as far as a country can go and Donald Trump, although not perfect, has been doing everything he possibly can to try to steer things back in the right direction. And maybe as uh, abrupt or elbowish as he is when he says his things, uh, it's very hard to disagree with that man when he talks about how it is that these athletes are disrespecting our flag and the amount of people who have died and given their lives and sacrifices of all kinds uh, for, for, for the flag that's waving behind me. So I think we have a good number here, 3,500, a little lower than I was hoping, but it is dinner time in the East Coast. Um, so I'm gonna give a, a, a call out and I'm gonna give you the number after I'm done. I'm gonna put it on speakerphone so this way you can hear what it is that I say to Amheuser-Busch. All right, so give me a second. We're gonna make the call here, put it on speakerphone.
Yes, hi, I'm Anheuser-Busch. This is Dennis Michael Lynch. Um, I am a political commentator, but more importantly, I am a uh, diehard American. And I have been drinking your uh, beverage uh, and beverages for pretty much my entire adult life. And although um, I am a Budweiser family, uh, I am no longer going to be a Budweiser family for as long as you continue to fund the NFL and these players who are disrespecting the members of my family and the good members of the United States of America, our military past and present, and every single person who loves the flag. For as long as you continue to fund the NFL with your advertisements, you, as far as I am concerned, are just as guilty as they are. And so I want to let you know that um, I have a very large following. It's into the millions and that we have started a bumper sticker campaign that says, I stand for my flag. And I will be using the proceeds, the net profits from those uh, sales. And we've already sold thousands, 8,000 already. So I'm being equipped with a lot of money to do a lot of advertising. And that I am going to make sure that I go out of my way to express all the major advertisers who support the NFL. I don't want to come across as threatening, nor do I want to be disrespectful to you and your business. And I would never dictate who or where somebody can advertise their money. But I will not support your products. I will not drink your beverages, and I will do everything I possibly can in my power um, to use my microphone to allow people to realize that you are funding these people who are disrespecting my flag. And so I appreciate this. I hope you listen uh, to, this, um, uh, to this call. I want to let you know that I am on Facebook Live right now with over 5,000 people. Each one of them is going to hit the share button because I'm going to give out the 800 number and you could expect to get bombarded with tens of thousands of phone calls just based on what I did here. Thank you for your day and God bless America. All right. I know it was a little bit hard to hear uh, them with this and it's because of the wind. But basically, if you dial this phone number, 1-800-342-1800. I'm going to say that one more time for you. 1-800-342-5283. That's the phone number to Amheuser-Busch, uh, Budweiser. And you can tell them by just, if, when you get the recording, it, it, it basically says, if you're calling about um, our relationship with the NFL, um, we believe in the national anthem, and they say that they hire 1,100 veterans, uh, they, they invite you to leave your two cents like I just did. I ask you, please, please, to make the phone call when we're done here. Voice what it is that you feel uh, in the same way I did. Use your own words, obviously. Get as passionate. But I ask you to be very polite. I ask you not to curse. I ask you not to threaten. I ask you to, to stand proud um, and, and speak intelligently to them and tell them uh, what it means to you. And if you are uh, in, in agreement with me, you tell them it's no more. You're not going to be supporting any more of uh, their beverages or products whatsoever. And if you do have the opportunity, if you haven't already, um, like I said, if you go to DennisMichaelLynch.com, every single last article on there, this is there's a link on there. So it's not like you need to have a special URL. Just go to DennisMichaelLynch.com. The website at this point is just showered with this stuff. And as I've said in, in the past... Um, it's not even 24 hours yet. We've already sold over 8,000 of these. They're only $4. Some people buy in 10 at a time. Some people are doing multiple um, orders. I will be tomorrow placing our first advertisement online. Going to show you the ads. Going to send you the links. Um, like I said, I've been reaching out to my radio friends, trying to set up interviews for la uh, next week. I want everybody in America to have one of these things. I stand for my flag and hopefully... Um, the, the message will be said loud and clear. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, President Trump has sort of loosened the ketchup bottle, if you will, on this whole thing, but it's really up to us to open it up. If we just blow this off and hope that the other guy is going to take care of it, they're going to continue to kneel. And they continue to kneel. They're, they're influential, these, these, these gentlemen in the NFL. You know, they're impressionable, especially to our young children, and we're seeing it already. I mean, we're covering this as an organization. The stories that we have covered already in the last couple of days, a peewee football team taking a knee in Illinois, an entire uh, football league in, in Cypress, Texas, 
now turning off the national anthem before football games. We've watched a baseball player do it in a Major League Baseball, members of Congress doing it. We just had a story we just did about a first grader who actually took a knee during the Pledge of Allegiance. It's starting to metastasize. It's getting dangerous. I don't want it to become second nature, just like terror attacks are second nature now in Europe. And you know the idea that illegal aliens are just all over uh, the United States just has become second nature. We can't tolerate this sort of thing. This is our flag. You need to be passionate about it. You need to give all your effort to it. You need to take it seriously. This is just not a couple of guys taking a knee trying to get their 15 minutes worth of fame. This was supposed to be it was supposed to be a protest about cop brutality, which in of itself is ridiculous. I have already spread these uh, numbers with you. I will give it to you again. The fact of the matter is, is that the police officers in this country, unfortunately, at some times have to take the lives of American citizens because those American citizens, by and large, get into a situation with the police officer that they could have avoided either charging them or not listening to them. Sure, mistakes happen once in a while, but mistakes happen all the time. Okay, they happen all the time. And we're not taking knees. You know, there was a great email we got today. You know, when, when four men were killed in Benghazi and we were told that it was because of some uh, video that it was, you know, we were lied to. Did the NFL take a knee? No, they didn't. When, when President Obama sent barrels and bushels full of cash to Iran, something we're never supposed to do, it, it, did we take a knee? No, we did not. We don't take a knee for our flag. And the fact of the matter is, is that police officers are killing more white people in the line of duty than they are black people in the line of duty. You know, were we taking a knee, NFL? When, when, when there's 500 murders so far in South Chicago of blacks killing blacks, you know, we just posted a video today from New York and Brooklyn where six black youths went and pummeled, pummeled a person who was waiting for a bus for absolutely no reason. Is the NFL going to take a knee on that one? The fact of the matter is, is this has is, this is gone to, from a Black Lives Matter support with Colin Kaepernick to a anti-President Trump. That's what this is. This is anti-President Trump. And you don't have to support President Trump like I do or like a lot of the other people here in this country do. That's fine. But in the process, you do not disrespect the men and women who have fought and died for this country and who continue to do so. You don't do it and you are not going to be allowed to use CNN and to use all the other different media outlets who realize that under this whole thing it's an anti-Trump campaign going to allow you to get on their, their outlets and spew garbage like Spike Lee did last night and disrespect a gold star family and to get on television and use the N-word, something that we have as a nation ran away from and you're going to bring that back for, 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 for political purposes, it's not going to happen. If you want to be anti-Trump and you want to put out Facebook posts about why you don't like them, God bless you. That's the First Amendment and that's why men and women died for this country and for that flag. They did not do it. So this way you can turn around and kneel at an NFL football game and teach my kid that that's something that's cool and in vogue and, and standing up. Not going to have it. I'm going to do everything I possibly can with the good folks on the other side to make sure that we just grab it by the neck. And how do you grab it by the neck? You strangulate it in its money. You take away its money. It's the way it all works. It's the way it's going to work with North Korea. Look what happened. The President of the United States said, hey, sanctions all over the place. Anybody, any bank, anybody does anything with North Korea, you do it with them, but you're never doing anything with us. Today. The Chinese told North Korean companies or anybody who's related with North Korean companies to get out of China. They got 120 days to do it. That is the way that you cut off the dragon's head. You take away the money. And in this case right here, these NFL owners thought they were all going to be unified with their players and uh, full uh, cusping arms. No, I've said this a million times this week. You want to show us unity? Let us see. The black guys and the white guys and the Spanish guys and the Asian guys of the NFL get in a huddle like this 
call some plays, score some touchdowns, and make some unbelievable, memorable highlight films that we all love to watch during the week and on Sundays. Don't come out and preach to us and, and give disrespect in that way. Don't sit in the locker room. Unity is getting back into that huddle and letting America know that football is not a political thing to play with. That's it. And if you don't do it, we're going to be calling people like Budweiser like I just did. And I want to give the number to people who just came in right now. I just called Budweiser, Amheiser Bush. They have a hotline for you to call and voice how upset you are, if that's what you want to do, about what's going on right now in the NFL with all these kneelings. And I, it, the phone number is as follows. 1-800-342-5283. You'll hear the prompt. You dial 1. Please. Leave a message. Let them know what you feel, how you feel. Don't curse. Don't be abusive. Don't be threatening. Just be professional and convey a message and let them know that the days of you buying Bud Lights, it's over. It's completely over. It's over. No more. No more. No more Budweiser. No more Bud Lights. No more Amheuser-Busch products at all. It's all done. If they're going to continue to fund the NFL, that's it. It's, 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 it's non-negotiable. The flag is non-negotiable. And one more time, at the risk of, of, of asking for more of your generosity, we're starting a bumper sticker campaign, and it's gone haywire so far. Eight Over 8,000 bumper stickers sold so far in, I think, it's 15 or 16 hours. And as I noted, I'm just repeating myself one more time for people jumping in late, and I'm hoping you're all going to share this because I told the people on Budweiser when I made the phone call you were going to share it, so don't make me look silly. But this bumper sticker, I stand for my flag. I want to see hundreds of thousands of them on every car throughout the country. We need to have our own movement. We don't get to have CBS and NBC and ABC and Fox sit down and see what we're doing. They're giving all the camera work and all the time to these NFL players who are kneeling. This is your way to say, I'm not going to allow anybody to just sit down and me be silent. No more screaming at the television because nobody hears you other than yourself. You get the bumper sticker for four bucks. I use all the money, the net profits, to put out more advertisements and do more things like we've been doing here. And you know what? Ultimately, we're going to win this war. We're going to win this war. We are going to strangulate them at, in the pocket. We are going to strangulate them at the pocket, and we are going to win this war, hands down. And tomorrow, we are going to start to look at other advertisers who are advertising with the NFL. And I just want to say this out, you know, sometimes you have to really give credit where credit's due. I don't remember the man's name, but we did a story today about an entrepreneur in Cleveland who advertises with the NFL. Uh, he has a bunch of different businesses. One of the businesses he has is a, um, oh, I wish I could remember it, but somebody will write it in the messages here. He owns a, uh, a clothing company. It's the oldest American uh, company for creating suits. All right? He pulled his money. That, that is America. That's America. You want to protest? We're going to protest your back. So I ask you one last time before I jump off here. All right? I hate leaving when the crowd is sitting here at a high, but you know what? You've got a phone call to make. So I'm going to punch it home one more time. Number one, do not, I ask you, do not support Budweiser or Amheuser-Busch for as long as they support the NFL who's going to allow their guys to sit down and kneel and disrespect our flag. You can give them a phone call. They have a hotline to hear what you have to say. It is 1-800-342-5283. I called them at the beginning of this and told them that you were going to be sharing this video and that they were going to get tens of thousands of phone calls from it. So ask it please to share it. All right, and if you can, you go to DennisMichaelLynch.com. You get the bumper sticker, four bucks. If you buy one, you buy two. You have people are buying ten. One guy bought a hundred. We'll be shipping these out starting next week. You put them on your car. We're gonna make a movement. I take the net proceeds and I keep on putting out advertisements. And anybody who's been following me for a long time knows that I always keep you up to date with what our numbers are and where we're doing things. And tomorrow I'll send you a link to those ads, and we're gonna put them on some pretty good websites and uh, get some really good exposure. All right, that being said, I think I said enough. Don't want to make the video too long or people won't listen. All right, so give that phone call, 1-800-342-5283. Tell them DML sent you, and uh, have a beer, but not a bud. All right, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless our troops. God bless the president and these United States. And God bless 
every single person who hits the share button. Without you, they win. With just a couple of Facebook posts and uh, stuff like this, and uh, as I explained, they're only four bucks. We will be mailing them out starting next week. I've set up all different vendors. I have them coming in from all over the country. Uh, we're laying out our own money to do it. And all the net profits that we receive, we are putting it into advertisements for more bumper stickers and to basically tell. Hey, DML with you here. Uh, my apologies in advance for making this the second walk and talk during the day. I, I, I never uh, wish to uh, abuse your time or uh, the fact that you uh, help me out when I ask for help. Don't want to abuse that. So I am coming to you for a second time and uh, I apologize in advance. But uh, I uh, am Heiser Bush uh, funding uh, basically what it is is, uh, is the disrespect to our flag. So as many of you know, I'm going to let the numbers uh, climb up here a little bit before I call. As many as you know, uh, we started a bumper sticker campaign last night. I just want to explain that real quick before I call the 800 number. I'm going to give you the 800 number because I'm going to ask you right after I'm done calling that you call as well. It's a little windy here and I'm trying to prop up the phone. I had somebody reach out to me today after we went uh, with our walk and talk earlier this afternoon and suggested that I make a phone call to Budweiser and um, Amheuser-Busch. And I'm going to do that. Amheuser-Busch is a um, major, major sponsor of the NFL. And, um, you know, they're the king of beers. They're as American um, as any of us are supposed to be. And so I don't want to see, and so I could do two things without holding my own phone, but um, I'm going to ask you to call them right after I'm done and uh, kind of give them the same uh, message I am. They have an actual number set up for people to do this. So I'm going to do that with you. Uh, but like I said, we started a bumper sticker campaign last night real quick. Uh, we started it last night at 10 o'clock. And so far, we have sold over 8,000 bumper stickers.